Hi guys, how you doing? And welcome back to another video where we will be looking at the Chaos Decimator by Forgeworld. This is a piece of kit and a half. Okay, so here's the layout. This is generally what you get with it. Let's take a proper look. And here we have it, which is fantastic. Now, the great thing about it is they always give you a detailed instruction sheet uh, telling you all the bits and pieces that you get. I mean, there's a lot of stuff with this, uh, and I thought we'd take a good look. Now, I've added the weapons into this because you don't actually get the weapons with this. You have to buy them separately because there's a number of different weapons you can buy um, to make this slightly different from everybody else's. Um, now... Being a, being a doofus, I can't actually remember the name of the weapons that I've bought. So as we go along, we'll go, oh yeah, that's what that is. Um, so who knows? Because uh, it can be either one or two. So hey, here we go. Let's just go with it, shall we? Okay, let's start with the head because it's the head that sold this to me. Um, and if we can get a good look at this, excuse my shaking hands. It is awesome. Now it reminds me of Gladiator. It reminds me of the 300, the Spartans. I mean, that is just such a cool helmet. And that is a really cool helmet. And I really like that. Um, so that will fit onto the front of there like so. And that is pretty decent. That is pretty cool. And let's look at the body. Okay, so this is the main body. This is the Decimator's uh um, nerve center so to speak we know that the demon is bound into here and trapped in the inside now for those of you that have been collecting the Mechanicus you will start to see these appearing into some of the Mechanicus there's a lovely link from the Mechanicus to these models um, which uh, shows you the dark age of technology uh, starting to appear within um, or the Mechanicus technology starting to appear within the 40k universe from the 30k era uh, which is fantastic they've got a lovely crossover which I've really thought about which is what I love about Forge World models there's that link to the past and the stuff that they take uh, from minis that were created in the past um, that they've brought back to life uh, via Forge World. Um, so here's the main husk of the body. This is the main torso. It's fantastic. The arms go on the side there. The shoulder pads fit on the top, uh, which is kind of cool. Now, we're going to be painting this all up so we can see a step-by-step -step look of how it, uh, how it goes. Um, the shoulder pads, which are massive. Uh, I don't even think Dynasty, and for those of you old enough to remember Dynasty, or even any program in the 80s uh, where they wore massive shoulder pads could compete with these. Possibly not. These are fantastic. Now, I really love these. Um, I would love to get like maybe two versions of this, like one with the chaos symbol on either side um, or one with this kind of bare so you can stick corn. So I'm gonna stick corn stuff onto these just to just to spruce them up, so they say, uh, and make them slightly different, um, because I'm obviously going for my Cornate army, um, or my warband, and this is later gonna be part of my warband, because I feel that I need something big uh, to stomp around uh, and shoot at stuff, which is gonna be pretty cool. So the shoulder pads, as usual, as you would expect, highly detailed, and absolutely fantastic. Oh, just not the camera there. Okay, so we're gonna look at these joints now, uh, and I think these are possibly arm joints. I could be wrong. I have been known to be wrong in the past, but I'm gonna go with it. Uh, and we can have a look, and they are indeed, number 12, uh, upper arm joints, which is fantastic. Um, and again, highly detailed. So much going on in there. And I really love that. That is pretty decent. There's so much happening just within that one piece. The sculpting of this is just beautiful. And of course, you've got one for the other side as well, which just has the standard chaos symbol, which is really nice. Okay, so we move to the lower torso. And again, lots going on on this. Vent at the back. Uh, and you've got like a little wedge at the front there. Obviously, this sits into it like so. Um, I'm keeping these on while I paint it. Uh, because I'm going to be painting this slightly differently to how I normally uh, paint, trying out new methods. Um, and here we have, from what I can see, which is 
number seven and eight. These are right and left knees. Possibly, I think that's what they are. Oh, lower legs, I do apologize. Um, obviously the lower legs. I mean, look at that. Again, detailed, horrid face painted into it. Absolutely brilliant. Chaos symbol on that side. Um, and then we have all these little bits and pieces, again with highly detailed bits on there. Uh, and then we move to the weapon. Now, this is either the Chaos Decimator Soul Burner. So if I've got this wrong, I do apologize, but I love this. There's nothing quite like a gun that has like a sliding iris that says you better move out of the way because when this thing hits you, you're gonna die. Um, it's just awesome, a lovely weapon. And of course, what is a decimator without a close combat weapon? And here we have its close combat um, weapon. So obviously, all these parts fit onto here like so, and they are just awesome. So I'm very excited about this. And you get three sets of feet. So you can do flat feet and toes slightly raised for that walking um, action. Again, it's all ball jointed, which we love. It means it's gonna be very, very poseable. Um, and then you get these little exhaust stacks that fit onto it as well. So all in all, I'm very excited about this and I hope you join me uh, as we develop this and paint this up build it and we'll go from there okay guys because I've already started the base or it can go on that base I've already started the base uh, and we're going to dress that up uh, and get a nice feel about it now we're going for corn uh, because there's no psychics involved and it just means I can run around trashing things instead and I don't, I'm not really a psychic fan okay guys you be good you stay cool and keep safe take care bye bye